Hey everyone, TML64 back with part 2 of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. So, we're gonna fight Gary now, as we all know, for the second rival battle, so let's get right to it! Hey! You're going to the Pokemon League? Forget, you're probably gonna have eight badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? And so we start our second rival battle and only by a short amount of time with... <sighs> Gary the Douche. His first Pokemon is Spiro. In red and blue, it was a level 9 Pidgey, but it's a Spiro. So, this should be very easy. Pikachu is already at level 10, so Thundershock this thing and we should do a lot of damage. Well, that works, I guess. One shot critical hit. Works for me. Pikachu gets 111 and grows to level 11. How lovely. And trying to learn Quick Attack, too. Oh, this is a proud day already, and we're only like, what, 30 seconds into the video or something? So, let's see, what should we get rid of for Quick Attack? Well, let's see, we got Thunder Shock, we got Growl, we got Tail Whip. Um, let me see... Do, do, do. I think the best thing to do is probably get rid of Growl, yeah. So we got Thunder Shock, Quick Attack, Tail Whip, and... Yeah, Thunder Wave. A very interesting lineup so far, but yeah, hey, I'm not complaining. So, his next Pokémon is Eevee. We're going to switch into Pidgey now, which is at level 10. Hopefully being able to do somewhat decent damage. Alright, Pidgey, let's see what you can do. Sand Attack! Eevee's accuracy fail, and it failed because he missed. Okay, Gust! And yes, I know, Gust is not a flying-type move in Generation 1, so be careful. You need to keep that in mind. Gust again. Hey, yeah, we're doing pretty well so far. Gust again. Ooh! Only a speck of HP left, and I'm gonna so win this. Gust. And look at that, Pidgey takes out Eevee without taking a sweat. Absolutely owned Gary. And Pidgey also grew to level 11. Isn't that nice? Aw, oh, you just lucked out. I hear Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get moving on. I don't know if he said the exact same thing in Red and Blue. I probably... well, I'm too lazy to check, but anyway. We've got our second rival battle beaten without any problems. We practically wiped the floor with him. And let's see how our Pokemon turned out. Not a single scratch was put on us. Uh, wait a minute. Pikachu's HP is lower than Pidgey's? That's weird. weird. I'm gonna have to check out the base HP in the next video. Well, anyway. Um... Let's go! Either my Pikachu has horrible IVs, although I don't know if IVs exist in Generation 1, but... or... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Alright, so now we're heading off to Viridian Forest. Hopefully, we'll get past the entire forest a lot quicker this time. Because there's absolutely nothing I want in Viridian Forest in this game. Nothing! Because Weedle can't be caught here! And I... Honestly, don't want to get a Butterfree because I already have a Pikachu and I already have a Pidgey, which are two of Ash's Pokemon already. I don't want to follow every Pokemon down to Ash's specifics, so I'm just going to completely ignore it. And what's our first Pokemon? A Caterpie. Right. Um. No, not catching it. But I will kill it because I want EXP and Pikachu is needed for EXP. So yeah, very nice. And we get Pokeball. Very nice. Now, if you head south here, there's the little girl here that wasn't in red and blue. She was added to this game as an extra trainer. Hi, do you have a Pikachu? You can only battle her if you just talk to her. You won't get any, you know, uh, explanation mark over her head or anything. Lass wants to fight. Lass has a leader and female, level 6. A very interesting Pokemon to come across this early in the game. Thundershock. Owned. What is with me getting critical hits all the time? It's probably got to do with that critical hit formula I told you about in the last video. Remember, the faster your Pokémon's base speed is compared to the opponent's, the more likely you'll get critical hits. I know, flawed system. Like I said in my red and blue videos, critical hits don't have a percentage of damage of critical hits. No, no. The critical hits are all determined by how fast your Pokémon's base speed is compared to the opponent. So if you're faster than the opponent, you're going to get a critical hit more often. And that's why it's flawed. So, yeah. Slash and attacks that would have crit high critical hit ratio would... Um, okay, I don't know exactly how they work in this case. I'm, I'm only reading what I, what I know, so, yeah. 
Okay, next trainer is a the bug catcher, the one with the the canopy and the weedle and the weedle. Come on, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. All right, so the probably ones you're gonna notice here when we start fighting all these bug catchers is that none of them have a stinking weedle or a Kakuna at all. They've all been replaced with Caterpie users. Every single bug catcher you're going to fight in Reading Forest has only Caterpies, nothing else. Well, of course, they'll have Metapods as well, but not a single Caterpie. Because... I, I honestly don't know. I, I, I got nothing. Because, heck, just because Ash couldn't catch a Caterpie in the anime doesn't mean that we shouldn't have to, shouldn't be allowed to catch one, or the fact that no one else can allow to catch one, I don't know. Main reason why they don't have Weedles or Kakunas, I guess because no bug catcher in the anime had one? I, I don't know, but it's a stupid reason anyway, but a shame, because I'm really looking forward to using Weedle in Yellow when it came out. Oh well. Pikachu groups level 12. How nice, bug catcher defeated. No, Caterpie can't cut it. Right, next trainer. Uh, before we do that, switch Pidgey with Pikachu. I'm gonna get my Pokemon evenly as damaged as possible. So, uh, uh, next trainer. You can't. Uh, I, I. Whatever. You can't get out of a jam I don't know. I don't know what we said. I wasn't paying attention. Don't judge me. Right, so, Metapod, first one we've seen, and rather awkward that we're facing its back, because you're already facing his back when you send him out, so... I, 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 I don't know, this is probably the only game where Metapod's back is facing the front, but am I not the only one who thought that that actually looks like his front? I mean, the spine he has actually looks like a nose, and it almost looks like Metapod is glaring at us, which is weird because that's his back even though many people thought it was his front. That's why they find it so funny. Anyway, Gust. Take out the Metapod. Thank you. Next is a Caterpie. Honestly, was it not that obvious? Gust. You know, I must admit, the colors are much nicer when they're multicolored. But only in the American version, like I said, the Japanese version doesn't have multicolor support. It only everything's all yellow, just like in red and blue. So kudos to Nintendo of America for making international support for Game Boy Color. So it's very nice. Just like the overall color and the high contrast, because for some reason when this game is played on the Super Game Boy, all the colors become very faded and everything. So only on the Game Boy Color do you get these nice contrasted colors. Anyway, that's just a praise to the game, I don't know. But whatever, this Metapod is hardening because, heck, what else are Metapod known for? And he's dead. Constant gust and gust and gust and gust and Pidgey grew to level 12. Pidgey learned Quick Attack. I we defeat Bug Catcher. Huh? I ran out of Pokemon. Right, very nice. Let's go to the next trainer. And after we get the potion. Strange, I thought that was an antidote. Eh, could be wrong. Now, did they add a trainer up here? No, 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 they, they didn't. They only added that in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Okay, so, do we have any other extra trainers? Yes, we do! That's a new one! I'm gonna be the best. You just can't beat me. Now, is this supposed to be that stupid samurai bug catcher from the anime? Because if he's using a pincer, that would make a lot of sense. No, no, he's got a Caterpie. Eh, good enough. Right, Pidgey, you know what to do. No, I'm quite surprised. How did my Pokémon get up this quick? I only got my Pikachu and my Pidgey to level 10 to fight Gary, and yet they're already at 12 and growing fast. Did they somehow increase the EXP yield in this game, not not just the difficulty? I could be wrong, because I feel like my Pokémon are almost over-leveled for some reason. I, I, I just, it just feels that way. I don't know why. But anyway, keep up the gusts, Pidgey. You're on a roll. And Metapod starts trawling, so again. Blow it away. String shot? What is this blasphemy? Metapod can't use string shot unless he's being owned by an actual player. Me that Metapod can't learn string shot unless he's evolved from a canopy. For shame. The NPCs can't have string shot Metapods or tackled Metapods. It's ridiculous. Ah, but who cares? It's not really doing anything to me. As long as he doesn't have tackle, I'm fine, but... At least it proved a point to say that Metapod can actually learn and not a useless cocoon that he is. After all I did, 
You get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Now then, next is past the grass. Once we get past the grass, and we find a caterpie again. Honestly, did they just replace all the weedles and metapods? I mean, all the weedles and cocoonas with caterpie and metapods just to make it harder to find? Nah, they didn't. There's no Pikachus either. As you know, you own the only Pikachu in the game. Yeah, Pikachu are an extinct species in this game. Only one exists and it belongs to you. Makes sense to me. So, get the ball and we find Potion. How lovely. Now let's get out of here. Up past the bug catcher and... Ooh! Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? Now this guy in red and blue had a level 9 Weedle. I remember because he was dangerous there. So, I might assume that this one also has a level 9 Caterpie? Level 10 Caterpie? Oh, so they beefed up this one a bit. Alright then, let's use Quick Attack for once. How much more damage does it do? Eh, not bad. The only difference is that, Gusto, that Quick Attack always goes first. Gust and Quick Attack had the exact same amount of damage, 40 points. So, it's not surprising that they both do the same amount of damage, just Quick Attack always goes first, no matter what. As long as you're faster than the opponent, if you both have the same... If you, you know, if they both use Quick Attack, you have to have the faster speed to go first, but you get the drift. Anyway, Bug Catcher was defeated, I give up, you're good at this, and we get $100. Now, are we out of here? Oh, oop. Yeah, we are. Now, before we leave Viridian Forest, there's one more thing I want to point out to you guys. While Pikachu is not catchable, they did replace it with one more Pokémon. You can catch Pidgey here. There's also one more Pokémon you can catch here that no one would have expected. You can catch level 9 Pidgeotos here. Now, I'm not kidding. They are hard to find. You can find level 9 Pidgeotos in this forest, and I'm not joking. So, if you want to get yourself a level 9 Pidgeotto straight off the bat, head to Viridian Forest. They have what you're looking for, but only in yellow. But, uh, and I'm guessing that's the reason why they added it, because Ash caught one in, uh, you know, the anime, so that's that's that, really. And they gave an alternative spread for Jigglypuff, but anyway. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Will you heal your Pokemon back to full health? Heal, please. Okay, we'll need your Pokemon. One, two, three, no, there's two, sorry. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. Right. Okay, so guys, we made it to Pewter City. We're almost where we left off at uh, Pokemon Blue. In the next part, we're going to fight Brock, and I can tell you right now, this battle is going to be annoying. So thanks for watching, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video ASAP. Peace out. There's your proof. Happy?